very good morning dear aspirants in this video we have to learn analytical techniques paper block 1 unit 3 the paper code is SCT 3.4. In this unit, we have to learn the gravimetric analysis. What are the principles of gravimetric analysis? Weighing of the sample, preparations of the solution, precipitation, principle of precipitation, method of precipitation, purity, post precipitation. Differences between post precipitation and co precipitation, peptidization, efficient condition for precipitation, filtration, drying. These are all the gravimetric techniques here we have to discuss. The extended the concept in this unit. The precipitation from homogeneous solution advantages from homogeneous solution the, what are the apparatus or requirements in gravimetric analysis everything we have to describe the objectives of the unit are the following to explain the meaning of gravimetric analysis principle of precipitation different methods of precipitation mechanism of precipitation efficient condition for precipitation differences between post precipitation and co precipitations major the world gravimetric analysis based upon the measurement of mass this analysis can be generalized into two types they are precipitations and volatilization the quantitative determinations of a substance by the precipitation method of gravimetric analysis involves isolation of an ion in solutions by precipitation reaction filtering washing the precipitate free of contaminants Conversions of these precipitate into the products known as composition, and finally weighing the precipitate and determining its mass by difference. The gravimetric analysis is a highly technical and requires experimental skill for getting accurate results. the gravimetric estimations involves the following general operations by properly using the apparatus required the weighing of the sample preparation of the solution precipitation digestion filtration washing drying insulation weighing the product first we can take dry stoppered weighing bottle or watch glass weighed and empty and weighed with required amount of the substance the difference of the two weights that is initial and final the weight of the substance next preparations of solution first we see that solute molecule is dissolved in solvent our substance is transferred into the beaker weighing bottle of watch glass is washed with a spray of distilled water from watch bottle these washing are also transferred to the same beaker 
The substance is then dissolved by stirring the contents of the beaker. Heating is also done if required. Sometimes the reagents like dilute hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, acetic acid are also added to make the solution clear, but their correct choice depends upon the concerned estimations. However, generally the substances are supplied with the prepared solutions and asked to 20 or 25 ml of solutions for gravimetric estimation. A definite volume of the solutions or weight of the substance should give a precipitation or ignited residue. Prefer weighing between 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 gram. What are the precipitations here? The objective of precipitation a compound is to precipitate in such a way that it should be coarse. Granular and dense precipitation is for as possible. The factors are mentioned like that. The precipitations can be made quantitative by lowering its solubility to the negligible limit. The precipitation should be convenient to filter and ready to be weighed after drying and ignition. The precipitation should be highly specific in nature. What principle is behind that precipitation? Consider like that inorganic substances like silver chloride, barium sulfate or aluminium hydroxides is an ionic phenomenon. For the precipitations of such compound, the conditions of the precipitation is that their respective ionic product must exceed their respective solubility product. In gravimetric analysis, the substances having very low solubility product are selected precipitation. This is achieved by adding precipitant solutions to the solution of the sample containing sufficiently large concentrations of the ion so that their ionic product in the mixture solution exceeds the respective solubility product of the substance which is precipitated as required for the given gravimetric estimation. After the principle of the precipitation, the method of precipitation. What are the methods are involving during the formation of precipitate? The solutions mean for the precipitation is first diluted to 100 to 150 ml with distilled water and heated suitably by converting it into with a glass, clock glass. It is then precipitated by slowly adding by the sides of the beaker the hot solutions of the precipitating reagents with constant stirring of the mixtures with the round edged glass rod. The precipitate is then digested, allowed to stand for some time and tested for complete precipitation from the neck of the beaker. Then this gives an turbidity, more drops of precipitating reagents are added till the completions of precipitation takes place. The precipitation, it involves some mechanisms. After adding the precipitating agent to the solutions of the ions under analysis, there is an initial induction period before nucleation occurs. The nucleation is a process in which a minimum number of atoms, ions or molecules join together to give a stable solid. 
a small aggregates or nuclei of atoms form and it is from these clumps of atoms that are crystals which form the filtrate will grow the purity of precipitation the precipitation separated from a solution is not completely pure and may contain greater or less amounts of foreign material as impurity this is known as defective precipitations and arises due to the process briefly detailed as follows what is that coprecipitation coprecipitation is the contamination of the precipitate by substance which is normally soluble under the conditions of precipitation is known as coprecipitation in this process certain soluble substances present in the mixed solutions are retained and carried by the precipitate for example when potassium sulfate solution is added to barium chloride solution what we are getting potassium sulfate is found to be present in the precipitate of barium sulfate the process of coprecipitation takes place by due to adsorption at the surface of the particle occlusion of foreign substance during the process of the growth of the crystals from the primary particles inclusions isomorphous replacement we consider here isomorphous inclusions we have substitutions of the precipitation lattice with crystalline non isomorphic inclusions means solid solutions of the impurity with the precipitate that is crystalline occlusions means the physical trapping of impurities with precipitate and crystalline and colloidal surface adsorption chemisorptions of impurities from the solution onto the colloidal these are all both various methods of coprecipitations post precipitations means impurity after some appreciable time of the primary precipitations of the main substance in the absence of a primary precipitate the impurities may precipitate very slowly as they are capable of forming the super saturated solution the primary precipitate actually becomes a nucleus for the post precipitation of impurities from their super saturated solution for example when an acid solutions of ammonium oxalate is added to acidified solutions containing calcium and magnesium ions calcium oxalate separate as the <coughs> primary precipitated the solutions become super saturated with respect to the magnesium oxalate which now slowly precipitates on the primary precipitate of calcium oxalate these are all the differences between post precipitation and co precipitation generally this type of questions are arises in your examinations co precipitation post precipitation yet the contamination falls with the time if the precipitate is left in contact with the mother liquor contamination increases with the time if the precipitate is left in contact with the mother liquor magnitude of the contamination is small magnitude of contamination is large contamination decreases the part of the solution is agitated by either mechanical or thermal means this is contamination increases the part of the solution is agitated by either mechanical or thermal means peptidization this is a process of the redispersion of the coagulated from or the precipitate resulting in the formation of colloidal solution is known as peptidization
The cause for this process is the presence of large amount of water and absence of electrolytes during the process of washing of the precipitate on the filter paper through sintered crucible. The efficient condition for precipitation. We are going to follow some certain rules getting the efficient conditions for precipitation. The precipitation should be done in dilute solution in order to avoid error due to poor precipitation. The precipitation should be done in hot solutions unless advised otherwise. This helps in coagulation, better growth for the precipitate and also avoids error due to post precipitation. In order to avoid error due to co-precipitation, by occlusion the precipitate is digested for before filtration. Precipitation is checked by washing the precipitate with the dilute solutions of the suitable electrolyte. Only a small excess of the precipitation reagent should be added to reduce adsorption and precipitation. Peptization. The peptization should be always be carried out in a beaker and not in any other vessels like conical flask, as it is easier to transfer the precipitate during the filtration. This concept of digestive of the precipitate. In this process, precipitate is generally digested by either heating over a water bath or by allowing it to stand at room temperature for some time or simply heating it at a low flame. But all this depends upon the nature of precipitate. In this operation helps in bringing about complete precipitation and obtaining a dense granular precipitate which is in readily filterable form. This process is known as the digestion of precipitation. Filtration means the precipitate is isolated from the mother liquor by filtration it is done by using standard filter paper or sintered glass crucible or precipitation using filter papers. In that filter paper, generally we are going to select that a choice of the filter papers numbers like 40, 41, 42, etc. are generally used. These filter papers have different porous sizes and their choice depends upon the size of the particle of the precipitate of AgCl, FeOH3 and barium sulfate respectively. The setting of the filter paper. Generally the filter paper is chosen folded exactly in half and placed in quarters. The two halves do not coincide exactly. It is then opened in such a way that three quarters are one side and fourth quarter on the other side. Like that. Like that. It is very simple. Already in the lab will use Martha either already. Next filtration through centered crucible. Accurately weighed centered crucible of suitably porosity it is fitted into an adapter with a rubber ring or a collar. It is then fitted in the neck of the filtration flask connected further with the suction pump. Pour the decanted liquid first and start the vacuum pump. Thereafter the precipitate is transferred to the crucible with the help of a stream of water 
from the wash bottle on filtration is done as usual. Next, how to filter of gelatinous precipitate? Generally, the aluminium hydroxide, sulfuric hydroxide are gelatinous in nature, the porous of the filter bed. This slows the filtration of these gelatinous precipitates. In such cases, filtration is speeded up in the presence of filter paper. Pulp which is prepared by boiling small pieces of the standard filter paper in it. It is also available in ready made tables under the name of Wattman acceleration, accelerators, which means dissolved in water to give the solution. This is all different example. Drying means once we are getting the precipitate. In the filter paper is dried by making use of heating device controllable to the desired temperature. It can be done in steam oven or hot air oven or an electric oven. The precipitation in the sintered crucible is dried by keeping it preferably in an electric oven at the required temperature. These are all simple that is drying technique. Ignition means here take out the crucible from the desiccator and place it on the glazed paper. Transfer the precipitate carefully from the watch glasses to the crucible by means of dry camel hairbrush. Heat the crucible on low Bunsen flame and increase the size of the flame gradually. After 1.5 minutes, replace. Bunsen burner with a weaker burner ignite for 20 minutes more. The ignition temperature can be regulated by using a muffle furnace. This is what precipitation from homogeneous solution. The precipitation from homogeneous solutions avoid high local supersaturated which is the case when a precipitating agent is directly added to the solution. One of the species which ultimately forms the precipitate is slowly generated throughout the solution as a result of an auxiliary chemical reaction. The co-precipitation is also minimized in this case. By changing the rate of chemical reaction producing the precipitation precipitant in homogeneous solution, the required particle size of the precipitate can be obtained. Slow the, slow the reaction, larger is the particle size of the precipitate. Some example of homogeneous precipitation reaction are given below. Consider use of urea to precipitate Al3+, Fe3+, and Th4+, and other metal ions as their hydroxides or basic salts is an example of precipitation from homogeneous solution. Consider that urea molecule, urea is a weak base and hydrolyzes rapidly at 90 to 100 degrees Celsius. In acid solutions containing hydrogen oxalate ion can be made to ionize slowly with the addition of urea forming oxalate and rising the pH of the solution. Under this condition, calcium ions can be precipitated as the dense precipitate of calcium oxalate. Dimethyl and diethyl oxalates can be hydrolyzed to form oxalate ions, which can be used to precipitate calcium, magnesium, zinc, thorium as oxalate. What are the advantages of homogeneous precipitation from homogeneous solution. There are huge advantages from precipitations from homogeneous solutions like it prevents local high concentrations the reagents and thus promoting particle growth as well as minimizing the occlusions of impurities. The filtration method must be selected to fit the treatment of the precipitate where the material is merely to be dried and weighed. The sintered glass crucible is generally to the 
most satisfactory. Sintered silica crucible are also used for this precipitate. The crucible containing the precipitate is allowed to cool in desiccator for a few minutes. Then it is weighed accurately on an analytical balance. The operation is the operation of heating, cooling and weighing is repeated till a constant weight is obtained. The difference in the weight of the crucible with precipitate and empty crucible gives the weight of the desired substance from the weight of the necessary calculations can be done based on this formula. Percent, percentage constituent in sample is equal to the weight of the precipitate by weight of sample into gravimetric factor into 100. The beaker, the gravimetric analysis, the volume of the solution after dilution for precipitation is large and so beaker of 40 ml or 500 ml capacity are generally selected for use. These beakers should be made out of right quality which is not affected chemically and can withstand frequent heating and cooling. The precautions beaker should be thoroughly washed and dried before use. Heat the beaker or wire goes and not on a direct flame. Wipe the outer surface before heating. While heating, cover the beaker with a watch glass allowing some space for steam to escape. In the process of boiling, the liquid or solutions is complete. The beaker may be kept covered with a glass watch to avoid outside the contamination. This glass rod, a clean glass rod about 4 mm diameter and 20 cm length is cut and its edges are rounded by heating the Hedges in the flame that is used for as a what glass rod. What are the precautions here? The glass rod is rested on the sprout and the rims of the beaker and not on the working paper. After the use, glass rod is washed with stream of water from wash bottle, watch glass. It is implied for covering beakers. The suitable size of the water glass is one with which its rim is slightly etc. The funnel, know that it is used for the filtrations through a filter paper in gravimetric analysis. The standard size ranks from 6 to 9 cm in a diameter with a long stem of about 10 cm. The funnel is made out of good quality glass and the lower end of the steam is around to 40 degree. The funnel is properly cleaned and washed well before use. This wash bottle is implied for providing a fine stem of distilled water or other solutions if required for Use during transfer the transfer and washing of the precipitate. Generally, the size is 500 to 750 ml and made of glass or polythene. Whatever. The clay pipe triangles. The clay pipe triangles are used for supporting a crucible during heating or igniting of the precipitate and keeping it in a desiccator. It is made up out of three lengths. Unglazed heat resisting clay tubes through which iron or nickel wire is passed as turned at the end of hands, giving the shape of the triangle. The crucible is also one of the very important here. The small vessel consisting of porcelain of used silica in which precipitate is heated or ignited to get a constant weighing necessitated for the gravimetric estimation. The two types, one is that ignition crucible and filtered crucible. In ignition crucible, it has a capacity of about 25 to 30 ml 
and is preferably made up of fused silica or porcelain with flat black bottom and it is glazed on both sides. The use of this crucible is done the way as suggested under. It should be thoroughly cleaned, dried and ignited before use. The cleaned crucible is then heated strongly and placed in a desiccator with a pair of tongs. So has to get ignited initial weight. The precautions are mentioned here never place a wet crucible on the flame otherwise it can break. Always use a clean non-luminous flame for heating the crucible. Handle the tarred crucible only with tongs and not with hands in order to protect it from moisture or dust from the fingers. The tarred crucible should be kept and carried in a desiccator for weight. The filtered crucible, whenever the precipitates cannot be filtered out easily through the filter paper, also filtering precipitate and its subsequent ignition is very lengthy and laborious process and these crucibles serve as cut short method for gravimetric estimation. The crucibles are manufactured out of the porcelain borosilicate glass aluminum the capacity of 20 to 50 and provided with a porous mat at the bottom the further center crucible is also mentioned the precautions the chromic acid is not used as cleaning agent for centered crucible the centered glass mat is not scratched as otherwise it gives defective filtrations Uncentered glass crucible should not be heated strongly as unglazed glass is soft and above 40 degree, 400 degree Celsius. Only mild pressure should be absorbed during filtration under suction with filter pump as otherwise the bursting the mat can be in place. What is the cleaning filter mat? The dried precipitate is first thrown out by inverting and tapping the sides of the centered glass crucible. It is then washed thoroughly with water, undiluted ammonia, concentrated SCL and again with water rinsed with acetone to become the process of drying the crucible. The desiccator the function of the desiccator is to provide a dry atmosphere in which the crucible is kept so that it is protected from dust, atmospheric moisture and laboratory fumes and gases. It is a large vessel with varying sizes from about 10 to 20 centimeter in diameter and is provided with a tightly fitted cover or lid. We have to use generally calcium oxide and the anhydrous calcium chloride is also in desiccator because to absorb the moisture. In that burners, a different burners we have to use here, Bunsen burner generally. Commonly we have used in that laboratory. The maker burner that is also used with the high varying temperature. Blue pipe burners, the burner is in used to ignite precipitate. Transferred to the silica crucible, it provides perfect non luminous tapering and nosing flame by the complete combustion of oil gas with compressed air. To summarize that, you need all gravimetric analysis is really on some final determinations of weight of means quantifying an analyte. Since the weight can be measured with greater accuracy than almost any other fundamental property, gravimetric analysis is potential one of the most accurate classes of analytical methods available. We have the four fundamental types gravimetric analysis, physical gravimetry, thermal gravimetry, precipitative gravimetry analysis and electroposition. These differ in the preparations of the sample before weighing of the analyte. 
the physical gravimetry is to common type used in environmental engineering it involves the physical separations and classifications of matter in environmental sample based on an volatile particle size the thermogravimetry samples are heated and changes in samples mass recorded volatile solids analyzed is an important examples of this type of gravimetric analysis as the name implies precipitative gravimetry it relies on the chemical precipitations of an analyte the most important applications of the environmental field is with analyte analysis of sulfide electrode position involves the electrochemical reactions of metals ions at the cathode and simultaneous depositions of the ions on the cathode these are all the important references regarding that gravimetric analysis these are all the self understanding questions are mentioned here thank you